video, I want to play a game with you. So the game is very simple. I have two fair dice. They are not manipulated. I let you roll the two fair dice. If you get a double six, you win five dollars. But in order to play this game, you have to give me a dollar per play. My question is, is this a fair game? Two dice, you roll them. If you get double six, you get I pay you I give you five bucks. If you lose, then you get nothing, right? But in order to play, you have to give me one dollar. So is this a fair game? Let's find out. So to play a game, either you win or you lose, right? So either you win or you lose. Okay, what happened if you win? So if you win, we have to talk about the net gain. So you don't get the five bucks in, in fact, you only get four dollars, right? You have to think, you have to consider the five minus one equals to four. So if you win, you get four dollars. If you lose, you don't get your one dollar back, right? If you lose, then I will just take your one dollar bill. So if you lose, you lose one dollar. So the minus is very important. If you win, you get four. If you lose, you lose your dollar. All right, so what is the probability of winning? So uh, this one, you have to think about the sample space. So each die has six faces. So six times six, there are 36 outcomes. And then the six, the double six is one of them, right? So that means in order to win, the probability of winning is one over 36. So otherwise, the, the other 35 outcomes, you don't win. So here is how we do it. So what we are going to do is I am going to use the net gain times its own probability. So I'm going to do an X right here. So what is the expected value? So the expected value is you take the first net gain, which is $4, you times $4, you times 1 over 36, and then you plus the next net gain, which is negative one dollar, and then you times the thirty-five divided by thirty-six. So that means you have a four divided by thirty-six minus thirty-five over thirty-six. And then I want you to calculate what it is. So first you do a four minus thirty-five. You have a negative thirty-one, right? So negative thirty-one divided by thirty-six. Can you give me the decimal? Divided by thirty-six. So that is around negative zero point eighty-six. So what does that mean? That means here is the theory behind the game. So every time you play, you drop one dollar on the table, right? So here is how I split up your dollar. The negative 0 0.86 means every time you drop a dollar on your table, you lose 86 cents. You lose every time you drop a dollar on, a, on, on my table, you lose 86 cents. So this 80, 0 0.86 or 86 cents so goes to my pocket I am the host and how much returns to your pocket that's 14 cents is this a fair game do you want to play this game you spend a dollar to earn 14 cents do you want to uh, in, in my perspective I'm okay with this so the theory behind this game is again every time you drop one dollar on my table I will take 86 cents immediately the 14 cents goes back to your pocket so that means the game is fair to me as a host but the game is not fair to you so before we move on to the next problem i am not trying to encourage you to you know get money from people so this is how the games work so if you go to those big theme parks they ask you to play games right so play this like spend five dollars earn a big prize so if you go to the boardwalk by the beach they also have that so you pay one to two dollars you get like Three, three plays and then if you get some if you can achieve some score they give you a big prize right so those in when you play those games every time you drop some money down most of the money goes to the host immediately so it looks like you can spend a little bit of money to win a big prize but the theory behind this game is the game is always not fair to you it's always uh, fair to the host so that means I can sit there the whole day let you play this game I don't care. I am not losing any money, right? So even though I have to pay, there is a risk of giving you five bucks. That's why I am not losing any money because the expected value is not fair to you. It's fair to me. So I can let you play this the whole day. All right. So let's take a look at, at another one. The next one is about a raffle ticket. So let's say I have 1000 tickets. And you have to pay $2 each. 
So how much are those tickets worth? So 1,000 times two. So the total, they worth $2,000, right? Now, here is the price. So 1,000 ticket, there is a ticket that gives you the jackpot. So which is worth uh, 500 bucks. All right, and then there is a ticket, one ticket, give you 250 bucks price and then one of the tickets gives you a one dollar one 150 and then one of the tickets gives you a 75 and then the rest of the kit tickets give you nothing All right so the jackpot is five 500 bucks the second one is 250 150 75 or nothing now you have to pay a two dollars for each for each ticket is this a fair game you pay two dollars to play. You play. You pay two dollars. You get one ticket to see if you can win. So the strategy is, I buy one ticket to in to win your five hundred dollars, right? So that is that is the optimal situation. I am happy with two fifty, but the optimal situation is, I pay two to earn five hundred. So I spend two dollars to earn five hundred bucks gambling, right? So that is the optimal situation. So can you tell me what the net gain is? So since you have to invest some money to play this game, you have to subtract two dollars from each price. So let's subtract two dollars. So after subtracting two dollars, we have four ninety five, right? For four ninety eight, not four ninety five. So four ninety eight. This one is a two forty eight, and then this one is one forty eight. This one is a seventy three. This one a zero minus two is negative two. So what is negative two mean? You pay two dollars, you win nothing. I just grab your two dollars. Is this a fair game to you? So looks like it is a a fair game to you, right? Okay, so let's find out what is the probability of getting the five hundred dollars. There is only one ticket, one out of a thousand. And then this is also one out of a thousand. One out of a thousand. This is also a one out of a thousand. So we already have four tickets. So the last one will be 996 divided by 1000. All right. And then the expected value of this game. So what is X stands for? X stands for the result. Either X is equal to 498, 248, so on and so forth. X can be equal to negative two. X is the result of this game. And then each X, each each uh, net gain has its associated probability. So X is a random variable. All right. So we take the price times the probability. And then the next price times probability. And then the next price times probability is one on top and then the next price times probability so now be careful right here the next price the last price is negative two so you are adding a negative two times 996 divided by a thousand so that means here is in the numerator so you have a 1000 in the denominator you have a 498 plus a 248 plus a 148 plus a 73 so everything looks good right you are increasing your chance but look at the last one the last one you have to take a two times a 996 so that means you have to subtract 1992 so what is the numerator equals to 498 plus 248 minus 148 498 248 and then plus 148 and then you plus 73 and then you minus 1992 and then that equals to negative 1025 divided by a thousand and then we divide it by a thousand to move the decimal three uh, steps to the left so that is equals to the expected value is a negative negative 1.025 so is this a fair game so here is how we split up you pay me two two dollars right so here is how i split up your two dollars in theory so you your two dollars is right here so here is how we divide it part of the two dollar goes to me part of the two dollar goes to you the negative 1.025 that goes to me so 1.025 this one goes to me which is the host right and then the rest uh you take two subtract that and then you only have 0 0.975 so that goes to you is this a fair game the answer is no because every time you drop two dollars down you lose more than a dollar i take more than half of it do you want to spend two dollars to earn 98 cents do you want to can i ask you to do this 
you give me two dollars, I give you 98 cents. I'm okay with that, but you are not, right? So that means the game is not fair to you. So the host always win, right? The host always win. The game is not fair to you. So that's how the expected value works. So how was the lesson overall? If you like it, please tell me in the comment section below. Subscribe, like, and share the video, of course. I appreciate your help a lot. I will see you all in the next lesson. Signing out.